Merry Christmas in history to be found with her tinsel around her knees was a very humiliating experience for the Mormon family. Well, how do you feel about Marshall? Well, I hadn't really thought about it, but I can tell you he is always welcomed at my house. I mean, I am so proud of him. He built up that whole chain of sports where it stores right by himself without mm -hmm. any family money. Yeah. He says, I am a self-made man. I pull myself up by my own job steps. <laughs> <laughs> he can always turn a phrase. <laughs> Amen. Amen. I uh, know, honey, I'm out of the... Uh, oh, is it next to the... No, those are more... Oh, yeah, I'll get it. Thank you. <laughs> Was she praying? Yep. Why? Yeah, Not me. Maybe she was praying for Drew and Marshall and Bell. Or maybe she was praying for us because we were gossiping. Maybe she's praying because the elastic is shot in her pantyhose. Who knows? She prays at the drop of the hat these days. How long has she been this way? Ugh, ever since Mardi Gras. She had her choice to go to a Bible weekend with her Sunday school class or to New Orleans with me and two other sinners. She left that Friday a pleasant, well-adjusted young lady. Came back on Tuesday a Christian. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what does her boyfriend have to say? Ugh. Sammy's so confused he doesn't know whether to scratch, scratch his watch or wind his butt. <laughs> He's crazy about her. He says he can deal with another man in her life, but has trouble with the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost. <laughs> well, I'm pretty religious, but that stuff does kind of freak me out. Oh, I don't know. I'm torn. I got two sons, and I'm afraid of going to hell in a handcart, and then a semi-daughter that strives to be the kind of girl Jesus brings home to Mama. <laughs> I don't know. I, t I just don't understand those people, but... Sometimes they, they seem to have a piece about them that I just never had. I don't know, maybe I'm just jealous. <coughs> oh, uh, no, thank you. and Marshall is so thoughtful. He brought me this jewelry. It's gold and enamel. It's a bug. <laughs> it's fine. <laughs> jewelry. His eyes are emeralds, my birthstone. It's a bug. Does Marshall have, um, you know, friends? Well, we did talk a little bit about that. I am such a nosy old thing. I asked him how he met people. Because, you know, in my day and age, you could tell by a man's demeanor and character which side his friend is buttered on. But today, in this day and age, who can tell? So I asked Marshall, how do you know? And he says, all gay men have track lighting. And all gay men are named Mark Rickleskey. <laughs> Track lighting, you fucking nuts. On in. Oh, what a music. What is so funny? Miss Clary was just telling us the true story of track lighting. Oh, I love mine. It highlights mine. <laughs> Since when do you have track lighting? About three weeks. See, my boy Yang goes up the stairs. It was my grandson's idea. <laughs> <laughs> Attention. 
I went to my mailbox this morning and discovered that someone has put me on the mailing list for the Riverview Baptist Church. Oh, lucky me. I'm now receiving chain letters from Christ. They are not chain letters. They are part of my prayer group's reach out and touch project. We were each supposed to write somebody in the community that we thought might be in spiritual trouble and invite them to worship. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like you made everybody's list. <laughs> I think it is in the worst possible place to write a perfect stranger. So, reach out to Weasel and you'll pull back a bloody stump. <laughs> Oh, Shelby, I just realized you saved me a phone call. Next Friday, Sis O'Reilly and I are driving up to Monroe, and we'd like to take you and Jackson to dinner, if we may. Oh, I can't next Friday. I'm sorry. What's the occasion? Well, it's going to sound a little silly, but we're coming up to go to the little theater. We have tickets to a play. Oh, I didn't think you ever watched anything that didn't have a goalpost in either end. Well, up to now, I haven't, but... Sis and I decided at Bridge one day that we needed to keep up, that we needed to expose ourselves to a little more culture. And that is not easy to come by in this neck of the woods. Uh -huh. What exactly are you exposing yourself to? Well, I don't know. Something. I mean, the last thing we saw was pretty good. It was Shakespeare. Now, I was a little apprehensive at first, but when it comes right down to it, you write some pretty straightforward stuff. Mm -hmm. I have to admit, when they started hiding behind the curtains and put a little mask on to fool people, I thought that was kind of silly. Sis fell for it, but I didn't. <laughs> Sis old real so dumb. She thinks Sherlock Holmes is a subdivision. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, Sis and I liked it so much, we're talking about a theater trip to New York. New York? Oh, Clary, I am green with envy. Promise me you'll go to the first floor of Bloomingdale's. Come back and tell me everything. Woman's Day says you cannot walk through there without getting made up. Well, we're just talking. I'm scared to death to get on a play. Oh, honey, it's a piece of cake. You are safer in a plane than you are in a car. Just sit toward the back. That's the safest place to survive the crash. Miss <laughs> <laughs> Weasel, how did you go to the road with Miss Clary? I am not exposing myself to anything. It wouldn't hurt to broaden your horizon. Broaden your horizon to your way. I'll broaden my horizon to mine. I have plans, buddy. I'm going to Shreveport and have my colors done. Go what? I'm going to get my colors done. I'm going to find out if I'm a spring, a summer, a fall, or a winter. A present from Owen. What are you talking about? Well, every person has a particular color. You find out what season you are, spring, summer, so on, and then you know what colors look best on you. And then you're given samples of the colors that are in your palette. Almost the most helpful in shop for clothes. It gives you a fashion courage. <laughs> that is the stupidest thing I've ever heard. <laughs> All the rage. A lot of my friends in Monroe have had it done. Mm -hmm. There's a quiz on that very subject in that Glamour magazine over there. I'm the epitome of winter. Mm -hmm. Why don't you have it done, Shelby? You're so fashion conscious. No, I'm afraid pink might not be my palette. And I don't think I can live with that. Well, I've heard it all. I am going to the theater. I'm going to support the arts in our area. Well, I'll write a check. I don't support art. I just don't want to see it. <laughs> it wasn't hair lift you, you know. Oh, skip one thing straight. Now, I don't go see plays because I can take a nap at home for free. <laughs> <laughs> don't go see movies because they're all trash filled with naked people. Now, don't read books because if they're any good, they're going to be made into a mini series. <laughs> <laughs> I'm surprised you and Daddy don't get along any better than you do, Miss Weasel. How are you and Owen? I've been meaning to check up on you, but I haven't been able to lately. Oh, well, we Fine. I enjoy his company. On occasion. Mm -hmm. I can report that the Sherwood Floors delivery truck is stopped by her house at least twice a week. Well, he knows I like fresh flowers. And I can report that there's a strange car in the garage at least once a week. Oh, oh there. Hold my secrets out. I'm having an affair with a Mercedes Benz. <laughs> <laughs> Forgive me for asking. I've been dying to know. Are you and Owen 
Oh, wait, wait, wait. I need to get a mental image of this. Me! <laughs> a dirty mind is a terrible thing to waste. Now, not that it's anyone's business, but no. We are friends. Well, he would like more. I'm dealing with that. But I am old and set in my ways. You are playing hard to get. Oh, at her age, you should be playing beat the clock. <laughs> <laughs> you are just like your dog. Both of you having trouble with your new tricks. Don't try to talk in my shop. Well, I can't help it if men find me desirable. <laughs> <laughs> so, honey, when are you going to bring that baby to your butt? Oh, I got a picture. Let me show you. Oh, has he gained any weight? Oh, he's about 15 pounds now. Oh, my goodness. Oh, oh Lord. Oh, he is a tiny thing. He was a pound and a half when he was first born. Give him time, though. He'll catch up. Oh, bless his heart. Oh, those were some anxious hours. We did not have to worry about the most. You and this baby. Well, I certainly wouldn't recommend having one three months premature. Oh, it upsets me so much she's thinking about it. Then let's don't. Yep. God, Jack Jr. is a little fighter, but he is going to wear me out. I wish I knew where he got all that energy from. <laughs> well, honey, don't try to do it all yourself. You get that husband of yours to help out. That's right. They're supposed to be helping out this decade. Oh, he helps out. Sometimes. You know, Mama says he does it, but he does when he thinks about it, <coughs> which isn't often. <laughs> you know, most of the time he's not doing a damn thing, and every weekend he's all hunting. Help well, Jackson certainly is a good provider, isn't he? Yes, that's okay. true. Well, he'll come around. When he does, you come around and tell me how you did it, and I'm going to get to work on my sofa slug I'm married to. Look, <laughs> this one's good. Oh, I thought so. It's private passion. It's luscious without being too sleazy. <laughs> Ladies, we're going to have to work on a, a, a time adjustment to the schedule next weekend. I'm going to be all on my lonesome. Our right, Nell is taking a well-deserved vacation. Ooh, that's nice. Are you taking a trip? Yes, I am. Are you going to tell us where you're going? No. Oh, oh, wow. Nell, please. I don't think I can make it through the week without this information. <laughs> <laughs> you will just make fun. Please, Nell, you know I love it when you go on and on about your spiritual growth. Oh, I just can't get enough. <laughs> Anel has a very nice vacation planned at Camp Crossroads in the Ozarks. Oh, I don't believe I've ever heard of Camp Crossroads. Oh, yes. Uh, it's in Middle Arkansas. It's a Christian camp. There's just cabins, a chapel, and a dining hall in the middle of the mountains with a lake. I will spend a week in Bible study, prayer, and meditation. You are in the middle of nature, surrounded by the beauty of the Lord. Oh, are there water beds? Oh, wait, 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 wait. I am just trying to find out more about Camp Cross-Eyed. I might be able to That's laughing. You haven't done a religious thing in your life. Now, that's not true. When I was in school, a bunch of friends of mine and I would dress up like nuns and go bar hopping. <laughs> <laughs> Is your boyfriend going with you? No. He said he would rather eat dirt. Mm. <laughs> I have to check on my granddaughter make sure she's still going to the Episcopal Church. This born again process seems awfully tedious. Miss Weezer, I need to say this, and I don't mean to hurt you, but I worry about your faith sometimes. Oh, my face is fine. It's my hair that needs to come off the work. Ah, <laughs> One of these days, somebody's going to cut the feet out of your stockings. Have you no shame? Oh, that's all right, Miss Truby. I'll pray for Miss Weasa every day. Sometimes twice. <laughs> Morning, everybody. I'm a little bit of a Shelby. Mm, Mama, don't say anything. I like it. It's going to be so much easier to deal with. Oh, honey, bless your heart. It, it'll dry so quick, all I have to do is run my fingers through it. The last time you had short hair was kindergarten. Oh, I know. I just, I decided today I want to cut off all my hair every 25 years. I love it. I do. It's not too perky, is it? Oh, it looks great. Crunchy you goodie. Oh, uh, no, wait, you, you can it. open it later. <laughs> Oh, it must be nice having your entire family home this weekend, oh, Lynn. It is very nice. It is rare indeed, but it is very nice. For any special reason? Oh, just get together. Uh, last week 
was our anniversary. Oh, you should have said something to remind me. I would have thanked you something. You know, drum loves my nut surprise cake. <laughs> no, we never considered it a major occasion. Oh, which one is it? 30th? Oh, 30th is a big one. Oh, which one is the 30th anniversary? How do you mean? Oh, you know, first anniversary is paper, 20th is china, 25th is silver, and so 30th must be Valium. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> what would Drum do if he heard you say that? Nothing. He has no idea what Valium is. Mm. Man prides himself on never feeling any tension whatsoever, mm. which is amazing considering the amount he has created over the years. <laughs> I have got to stop taking pot shots and drop. He's a good man. He's crazy, but he's a good man. He does seem to be behaving himself lately. He was most civil in the big with you yesterday. I smiled at him before I could catch him or something. <laughs> the most bizarre thing has been happening lately. Every now and then, Drum and I find these moments where we find the things that drew us together in the first place. I, I don't know whether we buried them or came blind to them. It used to be the thought of our parents being romantic and me and my brother sick to our stomachs. But it's actually very sweet. It's been a lovely week. Every now and then, Drum and I find these moments of magic. Oh, I don't know. I don't know if I'm lucky to have what I have or lucky to know what I have. That is too deep for me. I'm going to go get my eyes rotated. Miss <laughs> <laughs> Weasel. Melin, maybe you should write a romance novel based on your recent experiences. I can help you with the dirty parts. <laughs> no, I won't believe it. <laughs> Shelby, you look a little pale. No, I'm fine. Mama. How are you? Ladies, if you're out and about this afternoon, stop by the Dixie Plaza Shopping Center. The radio station is sponsoring the Summer Fiesta with lots of prizes and a live band. They call themselves the Single Bullet Theory. <laughs> Shelby, what have you done to yourself? Oh, it doesn't hurt. What have you been doing, Melinda? Have you seen this? <gasps> yes, I have. The doctors are just trying to strengthen my veins. They're in terrible shape. Oh, it looks like you have been driving nails into your arms. What is going on? Shall we tell them, Mama? I guess so. There's no point in keeping it a secret any longer. Shelby has been driving nails oh, into her arms. Let me serious. It's a part of my dialysis. What? Dialysis. It's when they take. Oh, I, I know what it is. Just, honey, tell us what's going on, please. It's not any big thing. No big thing. Don't look at me like that. How long have you been doing this dialysis? A couple of months. Mary Lynn Eaton, I am without words. Why have I not been told? We didn't want to talk about it. Sometimes there are things you just don't want to talk about. What would have been the point? There's nothing you could do. We could have done something. I can't believe you didn't say anything. I mean, this is selfish. This is very selfish of you. Hold it. You all are talking like this is something. This isn't something. Haven't Jack Jr. put strain on my kidneys and now they're kaput. That's all. The doctor said this might happen. That's all. That's all she says. Well, I'm responding beautifully to dialysis. Do I look bad? No, honey, you look beautiful, but... Well, are you going to let us know what is going to happen? Do you do this dialysis forever? I could, I suppose, but that's not real convenient for someone who's trying to keep up with a 15-month-old long fire, so... I'll just have a kidney transplant and I'll be fine. Is it that easy? Sure. They do them all the time at Shreveport, three or four a week. They do. Our Sunday school was praying for one just the other day. Well, but the hard part is finding the kidney, is I saw something about this on the news. Um, it's very dramatic. Those medical teams fly all over carrying hearts and kidneys and who knows what else. And you know the thing that impressed me the most? They carried those organs and a beer cooler. Oh, stop. <laughs> oh, I would not lie at a moment as serious as this. Those dogs will take out the six pack, throw in some dry ice, and I'll go the morning. That's right. But you never know who will pop up, do you? No. I'm registered on the nationwide transplant computer. How long do you have to wait? There are people at dialysis that have been waiting for years. That must be agony. I suppose, but I'm lucky. I don't have to wait anymore. Mama's getting me one of my kids. 
when? We check in tomorrow. You are giving Shelby a kidney tomorrow, and you have even mentioned it. Uh, Ruby, please do my hair. I'm in a bit of a rush. I never thought there would be a time where words would fail me, but I think this is it. Why didn't you tell us? We just told you. We haven't known that long. We all just got tested last week. I am the closest match. What do you mean match? Oh, there are four categories for an organ donor. I match the best. Categories? Talent, swimsuit, evening gown, and personality. <laughs> <laughs> I know that you all had as very No, I passed up said a long time ago. I'm sorry, that's Tommy's joke. I think it's very funny. <laughs> no wonder your whole family's in town. I am just relieved that it was me. The boys are young. I would never want them to go through it. What it drums mean all the Lord. Yes. <laughs> oh, and the best part is what with all the tests and stuff, I found out I have the constitution of someone ten years younger. How about that? Oh, it must be so painful. Not really for me. My operation's simple, but mama's is awful. They basically have to saw her in half to get a kidney out. It's major, major surgery. <laughs> <laughs> they have to saw you in half? Well, they do it on Circus of the Stars all the time. Oh, this is no laughing matter. There have been more than enough tears, Miss Larry, trust me. It'll make my waist smaller because they have to take out my bottom ribs to get my kidney out. Cher had her ribs taken out to have a smaller waist. Oh, please, that woman is out of her mind. Look, Shelby, earlier today I said I'd be better off when his body was out I didn't mean that. You know better than to take anything I say seriously. Miss Weasel, forget it. I'm a terrible person. Oh, no, you're not, Weasel. You give your dog a kidney if he needed it. <laughs> well, absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> Both are so calm and collected. I'm happy. Look at the opportunity I have. Most mothers only get to give their child life once. I get to do it twice. I think it's neat. Besides, Shelby needs her help to look after that rambunctious kid of hers. I've got two kidneys. I only need one. I'm just glad we can get it over with before it gets too hot. Oh, that be true. Mm. I'm going to postpone my vacation today. That way I can sit with your husband during the operation. I can run your coca colas and things. Oh, that is so sweet of you, but don't change your plans. We'll make sure drum has plenty of food. That's right. We'll take care of everything. Just put your house completely out of your mind. I appreciate that, and I know drum does too. Oh, well, man, you are brave. Brave. You know, Shelby, if I didn't know any better, I'd never know you've ever been sick a day in your life. That is the biggest compliment anyone has ever paid me. Oh, poor Shelby. No, don't say that. I have my baby. I'm very happy. This is part of the price I have to pay, and I have to pay it. I can deal with that. Now, if I'm not mistaken, somebody has a present they're supposed to open. Oh, oh. is it for me? Hey, only if you can wear a size four. Oh, I can take it in. <laughs> <laughs> Mama, could you? Oh, yes. Of course. It's just a little something I picked up. It was on sale. Oh, oh we've heard that one. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah. Ladies, how fabulous does this look? Oh, God bless you, Shelby. Shelby, you are going to be the sassiest girl in that whole hospital. <laughs> <laughs> well, what about me? Well, you ladies better come and visit us. Oh, I will be sitting right by your side when you wake up. Yours too, Malin. I don't know how I'll manage that something. <laughs> and I'm going to keep drum calm during that break. <laughs> we are in such good hands. Mama, you're going to be a while. I'm going to go spend some time with Dad. Oh, good idea. Drum is not taking this well. He gets so upset over the least little thing. <laughs> Truby, this is probably going to gross you out, but can I have my hair? Is that too repulsive? Oh, honey, no. People do it all the time. I just had it for so long, I guess it represents an error or something. Honey, your nails, I'll put it in a box and give it to your mom. Well, I love you all. Miss Clary, will you do something for me? Of course. The next time you see Drew and Belle, I know they're upset about Marshall and all, but you tell 
and I said if this is the most disturbing thing that's ever happened to them, they should just get over it. I'll tell them today. True V1's in my radio playing. 